What's up guys? I forgot my camera and microphone today, so we're filming this on the iPhone. And our new exciting product for this week is potato chips. I've been speaking about it the last two weeks, but I'm excited. We finally have the seed oil free organic potatoes fried in organic coconut oil with custom organic spice blend. And guys, I, I was a little irritated yesterday as soon as I posted the announcement of the potato chips. All the corporate chills, dozens and dozens of comments saying like, oh no, you should buy from this brand instead, or you should go to Costco and buy this. It's actually pathetic and disgusting that they want you to buy these migraine inducing seed oil poisonous chips. And they're trying to tell you they're as good as mine. It's actually comical and pathetic and sad, but hey, they need to eat caviar in their cave, so go figure. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention was, made a mistake on the lemon light. I think it was the type of stevia we used or uh, we just put too much magnesium in it, but it did not taste good. Um, the first batch of lemon light that we sent out was absolutely amazing and delicious. And I had a, a canister of that. So I tested that next to the new one and there was something wrong with the new one. So everyone that ordered it, I'm gonna send you guys a new one this week. I mean, it's a several thousand dollar mistake on my end, but you know, I want you guys to know that I'm sorry we made a mistake on the product. It doesn't taste like it should. The nutrition facts on the label are correct and there's nothing different on the ingredient list that's in the product. However, it doesn't taste good. So you guys can't really drink it that. I mean, some people liked it, some people were okay with it, but tasting it side by side with the original formula, it's like night and day. It's not even, it's not even close, it's not even close. So hopefully we can get the uh, lemon light fixed up by uh, maybe, Wednesday or Thursday, and you guys should have it new one by the weekend. And uh, if you guys are ordering it moving forward, uh, rule one of <laughs> operating a business is quality control. You have to taste every batch, which I failed to do on that one. I'm surprised more people didn't say anything, to be honest, because I hyped it up a lot. I'm just walking over the warehouse side. You guys haven't seen anything in here in a while, but uh, there is nothing new in here. Okay, so my guys have been packing up orders because it's Tuesday. We're a little backed up as uh, today was Labor Day weekend. So Monday, we, everything was closed. Got some orders here. So my guys put all the potato chips in this storage room we have over here. So here we have it, guys. Organic potato chips. Uh, these are the plain salted ones. We also have a mushroom flavor and a salt and vinegar. And guys, I said it in the short a few days ago, I went to the ends of the earth to get these potato chips made because to me, it was just unbelievable that in the entire market online in stores, they don't exist. You cannot buy potato chips that aren't poisoning you. Well, now you can. So the sea salt ones, they're plain, they're good. I like them. The mushroom, they're a little more expensive because that really high quality shiitake mushroom powder was super expensive. It has like a slight earthy flavor and then um, the aftertaste, you get a lot of that mushroom. And then the salt and vinegar are my favorite. You know, the acidity really cuts through um, the coconut oil. So I like those a lot, but you know, just a nice snack to have a few times a week. Uh, we got interrupted by a phone call, downside of filming on the phone. So yeah, it's just a nice snack to have a few times a week, especially now that school's starting back up. You guys can get your kids some healthy potato chips. And you know, just in general, I mean, I remember last time, I think I had the, uh, uh, Siete jalapeno salt and vinegar chips for lunch one day and I had a migraine the rest of the day so you know this avocado oil they use is rancid they're not using organic potatoes so it's full of agrochemicals so you know it's unfortunate that you have to make everything yourself but now you guys don't have to and we got the price down to around five dollars a bag which is an improvement from last time because our Amish buddy was making me pay uh, almost eight dollars a bag and then next time we're gonna get an even better price on the oil, so I should be able to reduce the price even further for you guys. You know, a lot of these companies, they just pocket the profits, but I just remain broke and I give you guys, uh, I give you guys a better price. And as I said, all you guys that bought Lemon Light, we're sending out a replacement Lemon Light, as well as a uh, probably free Giga Chad Masticum to go with it. Where are those? I'll give you guys some free masticum just as like an apology kind of thing. I should actually give you some uh, free toothpaste to to wash the flavor of the old one out of your mouth, but uh, I don't know if everyone wants that. Take a look in the fridge to jog my memory. 
So all the milk sold out this week. Uh, we do have some kefir left over for you guys. We got the sheep kefir and the milk kefir, but the fresh milk is gonna come uh, over the weekend that we can send you guys a fresh batch next week. Uh, some of you guys have bought the cream in the past and weren't too happy with it, but I did buy my farmer a cream separator. I drove to, uh, to New Jersey to buy one for him. And now the heavy cream is nice and thick. So if you guys tried the cream in the past and you didn't like it, this is, uh, this is the legitimate heavy cream that you should be used to. You know, we issued a refund to everyone that was unhappy with the cream in the past, but um, this is what the heavy cream is supposed to be. And of course, we have all the other products. We have cottage cheese, the A282 butter, and then we have the A282 yogurt, everything grass-fed, quote, straight from the farm, unquote. Over here, we have restocked our water kefir grains and water kefir. We have plain available, but we're gonna start doing the flavors again, guys. Uh, the first flavor is gonna be apple, and then I think we'll do pineapple, ginger, and some other stuff. Fresh roast beef selling out every week. You guys really enjoy this. Super delicious, easy, minimal prep. Prime rib not selling as much, but we're just not making like a crazy amount. Uh, we, we might just continue the prime rib, but we're definitely gonna keep the roast beef. All right, I'm not sure how the background noise is gonna be in the freezer because the evaporators, uh, the fans blowing inside are really loud. But you know, we did restock a lot of stuff on the website, so you guys should definitely check it out. Yeah, you guys know these like vinyl setups, these are like 700 bucks each. It's ridiculous. They are really big though. So we restocked plenty of the Iberico bacon. I know some of you guys didn't like it when it was too fatty, but we really made sure uh, to, to pick out the, the better pieces of belly to slice into bacon. We have plenty of that. Uh, we did restock the Iberico rib steaks. I mean, these are kind of expensive, but they're so delicious. I'm gonna actually have one of these for lunch. I'm kind of addicted. A few weeks ago, we got all the new sausages back in stock. Iberico pork sausage. You guys cannot get pork sausage this quality anywhere. And uh, we also finally have one pound affordable Iberico pork back in stock. Uh, I'm warning you guys, this is like super duper fatty. It's probably like 65% meat and 35% fat. It's like 65, 35 or like um, 60, 40. Super, super fatty, but you know, that was the only affordable cut we can get. Uh, we do also have the ground Iberico tenderloin that is a bit expensive, but that, that's what I like. It's super lean. Beef, collagen, sausage. You guys are really strict on your diet. Only ingredients are beef, beef broth, and salt. Really delicious, high quality, great texture. Some veal brains, beef testicles, more testicles over here. We got all the meat broiler chickens in, so all the chickens restock, guys. Chicken thighs, drumsticks over there. All different size chicken breasts at different price points, 10 ounce, 13 ounce, whatever you guys want. Most affordable corn and soy free chicken online by far. We got some cross cut short ribs over here. These are bone in. We did get some boneless in stock. I'm just trying to find where my guys put them. Prime rib roasts are back in stock. We'll have to uh, bring in a lot more of these with the holidays coming up for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Here are the boneless shore ribs. So these are basically like two pound slabs. So these are really nice. Like you put some salt on them, you throw them on the grill and then you, you slice them up, basically feed your whole family or yourself if you're on the carnival diet. Now here we have all of the, the cut up laying hens. So we're just waiting on the final bill from the farmer and the butcher just to, to see how much we have to charge for these, but this is gonna be slightly more affordable than the regular corn and soy free chicken. And you guys know we got the salmon, the cod, and the halibut now, all wild caught from Alaska. Yeah, I've been showing you guys these every week, but th this is such an affordable product, these lamb rib chops, and it's really nice and convenient. Yeah, I think that's everything for the freezer this week. Yeah, so we showed you guys uh, the different restocks on the website. If you guys have been waiting for something specifically, for the most part, every single thing is in stock. All the lard, all the towels, all that stuff is in stock. We do still have some jerky in stock, plain jerky and the pepper jerky. Kind of running low on the biltong, the spice biltong. We got a small amount of the beef sticks left. 
And of course, guys, we got all the bars in stock, plenty of quinoa crisp. We made the very best bars last week, We're running a little low on chocolate, but we have plenty of vanilla best bars, as well as the dark chocolate and white chocolate to Tomy's cookies. Decent amount of pemmican too. And the granola bars, guys. I should just rename my company Frankie's Nature Valley Granola or something. So if you guys order potato chips, we will be sending them out this week as soon as possible. As I mentioned earlier, we're a little backed up from the Labor Day stuff uh, because we couldn't ship out Monday. So today's Tuesday, we're sending everything out and hopefully we can send out like all the potato chip orders and the non-perishable stuff tomorrow. Uh, so you guys should be getting all of your stuff by Thursday, Friday. But that's really it. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, hopefully we have some new products as always in, in the next few weeks. And I mean, that's really the only thing like I enjoy doing guys. Like I don't really care about the money. I don't really care about the business stuff. I, I kind of like creating stuff and making new products. So like when I don't do it every week, I'm just like over it. So <laughs> you guys can expect something new every week or every other week. Um, I, I usually have a backlog of like 10 new things. But since, like, I'm not doing everything myself, there's always, like, you know, something in limbo and I'm waiting on it. But if you guys go to frank you can see all of my interesting businesses where you can get high-quality meat on Frankie's Free Range Meat. All the non-perishable foods and stuff I include in my diet on Frankie's Free Range Foods. We got the supplements on Oregon Supplements. Lemon Light on there, too. If you guys want to try the formula after I fix it. <laughs> uh, we got Wi-Fi shielding for all the protective clothing. And then we have Frankie's Naturals for all the hygiene and cosmetic products that we did a video on. Maybe I'll show you guys the stuff in my bathroom this week. I don't know. As always, guys, just drop a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys if I don't lose my mind by tomorrow.